but not by rejecting any part of it, not by throwing it away. Or solely identifying with it either. Exactly, I'm just this and not that. I have a quick question. Um, I haven't gotten involved, but I've, I've actually been considering exploring the Radical Fairies. But I know there are people within that movement that talk about their concern of the gay community assimilating with the larger. Mm -hmm. they say that, we don't. Why should we want to assimilate and like do things and, and be just like them? We are different. We need to accept that. So, how do you feel about that? Do you, that is that. It's true. But isn't that somewhat kind of like, oh, I'm special? Only when you put a judgment on him. <laughs> <laughs> She's different than him, than you, than you, than me. We're all different. We're all unique. We're all individual manifestations of the one. We are all special. So now, if, what, what I'm working with now is, when I hear this, is one of the things that I've been looking at when I look at you know the gay community or being gay or what what that's all about. Because you had mentioned that you know we're no more special than any than straight people. However, when you do just look at the gay community itself as a group of people, it is interesting that a high propensity of those people in that group are sensitive and, and creative. And the and creative. That's an area that I'm exploring. That, like creativity. What is it about? Gay when you go to the, and you may be able to have access or know this, but you actually look at the psychological numbers in the studies, it's kind of a myth. Mm. What, what, what? That we're more sensitive, oh. that we're more <laughs> creative, or that when you actually look at the, the studies that are done, it's not that we're more creative or not that we're more sensitive. Mm. It's that we choose to be in communities that foster that. So it's more evident. But I'll tell you, I've been hanging out at a lot of straight bars because I have a friend that we go and watch football together. So we go to the, you know, the sports bars, right? Can't tell you how many straight guys are really sensitive. I rib them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I rib them all the time. It's fun. We have a blast. And they love it because it gives them permission. Yes. Well, okay. that's why I'm so... It gives them permission yeah. to be sensitive mm -hmm. and they know it's okay around me that's why i'm so confused with right there. but it's we're no more special and we're no more different than everybody else that's why i'm so confused by metrosexuals <laughs> because because I, I joke around and say that all the time because it's outside of what we know, right? right? Because, because gay men have led a revolution for straight men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gay men have, made it, have given permission for straight men to allow themselves to express their femininity. Mm -hmm. What we classify as that. That's even changing. Gay men can now have nice hairstyles. Straight they can wear good clothes. Good, that's a judgment. They, they, right, there you go. Caught myself, right? They can listen to music that they weren't allowed to before. Straight men can do manicures they and can, pedicures. Absolutely. And because gay men made it okay. I, one of my, my friends is this, he's, he's Romanian, he's this big guy. And uh, I got him a scarf. He's like, he calls me PDP. <laughs> I'm his gay friend Pete. That's his name. PDP, gay friend Pete. Oh my God, that's so gay. And I'm like, eh, not anymore, you're fine. <laughs> right? Because we used to identify that an earring here, an earring there, depending what coast you were on, meant you were gay, a scarf, you know, a certain pair of pants or clothing, the way you wore your clothes, yeah, all that kind of stuff. We get it out of your head if I can really encourage you. We are no more special than anybody else. One of the things that was coming to mind, I had this image, was um, a jigsaw puzzle. No two pieces are exactly the like. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all very individual, but they all go together in a certain way that makes the whole. Absolutely. And that was something that was coming mm -hmm. up when you were speaking hmm. specifically. I was like, oh, what? What are the things that came through? So how does that unique piece that you are fit into the picture? Yeah. And it has to be that piece. Absolutely. And the more you claim your true self and your authentic self and you identify with that light, with that heart, that source, 
the more you're going to fill out the shape of that piece. So go explore the radical fairies. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Why not? Keep in you know. There's not a lot around anymore. <laughs> no. they, because they because it was so hard to keep being special. <laughs> that's really I, I again that's that's my opinion, and I'm recognizing that it's so hard to always be special. It's it takes so much work. It's exhausting. Yeah. I'm different than you. I'm a Republican. I'm this. I'm that. It is so hard. So much energy goes into that. That's what you're seeing in the world right now. I'm this. You're that. Stop playing that game. If you want them to stop playing that game, then you have to stop playing that game. Truly. And that's something the gay community is just starting to recognize. Because we were always so separate, and we lost Prop 8 because we thought we were so special and separate. Now, there are political campaigns that they're doing with Prop 8 and, and trying to get it to go through again. They're going out there, they're assimilating in the community, they're saying, we're special and we're going to come over here and we're going to help you because you're special too. The Courage campaign is going out and helping the, um, the union, the trade unions, and, and promoting different things. They're reaching out beyond that specialness, that thing that was separate. And that's what's going to help bring everybody together. And that is the gay gift. That is the gay gift. Coming together, bringing people together, being the middle sex. That's the gay gift that we can give to a straight man so he can be more of a straight man. Because my being gay doesn't take care of, take away his masculinity. My being gay supports his masculinity. Because he can explore his masculinity more safely with me being his friend. Same for a straight woman. Same for a lesbian. Absolutely. Same for an older, younger, straight, gay, male, female, bi, transgender, all of that kind of stuff. The more you are your authentic, true self, the more you give permission for someone else to be. There's an interesting uh, flip side, in a sense, to that. Um, I grew up in Vermont, and so Vermont was the first state to allow civil unions, um, which we were pretty proud about. Um, and it wasn't long after that, six months to maybe two years, after the civil union law went into effect, the two gay bars in the state closed. And the reason is because there was no need for that separateness anymore, to have a gay bar to go and socialize and the meet. The economists are predicting you know? that's a business that is not going to exist in 50 years. You know? Hmm. I tend to disagree because there's always going to be a space for, pe for like-minded people, mm -hmm. but lesser and lesser, most certainly. I, I found that interesting that Vermont is a, they only had two bars in the state. Yeah. 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 It would not need to be a bar. Wow. Yeah. 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 A lot of gay bars are becoming very mixed. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Leather bars don't really exist anymore. There's a handful of them. They don't exist anymore. Yeah. It's 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 actually a business trend, it's an economic. You know, when they look at FI, they look at the growing businesses and the dying businesses. Yeah, that's one of them. And you're looking for those boys in the chaps, you have to look harder now. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you're gonna have to go to clubs. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have to go to clubs is what it's gonna it, it is. Again, there's always gonna be a place for like minded people. There's always gonna be something. If you have a fetish of some sort, you're always going to find friends or people that are with that. Same with religions. Mm -hmm. Same with whatever it is. There's always going to be a space for like-minded people. 